Hi guys, it's Sandy. So I'm going to show you how to make a chia seed pudding because it is one of the fastest, easiest, healthiest things that you can make and eat in the morning. It's great for your breakfast. It's great for um, a snack. Whenever you want to eat it, if you're intermittent fasting, it's a great thing to break your fast with. So this is so easy. I want to show you the basic recipe and then you get to make it however you want to make it. So this is how simple it is. You need one fourth of a cup of chia seeds. Now I keep my chia seeds in the refrigerator after I open them so that they last longer. This is the coconut milk that I literally just made. Always shake it up right before using. Just take one cup of unsweetened coconut shreds with four cups of purified water, blend it, strain off the pulp and you have coconut milk. You can use almond milk, you can use regular milk, you can use whatever you want. If you wanted to keep this plant-based, then use a coconut milk or an almond milk. This is unsweetened because I'm gonna actually sweeten my chia seed pudding. So all I do is put my chia seeds in, put whatever form of milk that you want to put in, one cup, and then you get to pick a sweetener of choice. I like maple syrup, just a pure maple syrup. You can use honey, um, you can use stevia, you can use sugar, whatever you want, but I'm choosing maple syrup, one tablespoon or more to taste. If you like it a little sweeter, put it in. Chia seeds are a fabulous form of fiber. They're rich in omega-3s. It's a great plant-based protein, so you're getting that protein in the morning or for your snack. And it also helps keep you full because it actually expands. You're going to see that this one-fourth cup is going to fill up this whole thing. Now, the thing after that to get a little more protein though, is you can either use a protein powder and add, or you can add some collagen peptides. You can keep it like this. What I'm showing you is basic recipe, three things, one fourth cup of chia seeds, one cup of milk, and whatever sweetener, a tablespoon, up to two tablespoons of sweetener. Now the add-ins come in. So I want this to be a more protein. So I'm going to add, some collagen peptides, one scoop. And then I'm gonna add one scoop of powder. Now you can use a vanilla, you can use a chocolate. This one's a chocolate. It actually calls for two scoops as far as to get the most protein. But I only want one scoop because I don't want mine to be super thick. So I'm putting those in. Now listen, you can add cinnamon, you can add pumpkin spice, you can make this however you want. That's why it's a great basic recipe because you just start with the base and you make it the way that you like it. I'm making mine a chocolate strawberry one, so I'm just gonna take those powders that are in there and the maple syrup and shake it up. It's easy when I make it in a mason jar because I can just put the lid on and shake it. Now I'm gonna add in a few more things. Oh, and see my protein powder didn't even get in there all the way, so it'll go through the next shake. Since I'm making this a strawberry chocolate, all I'm gonna do is drop some strawberries down in here. These are frozen. I'm just took them right out of the freezer. I'm not gonna unthaw them. Put in however many you want. And then, whoo, oh shoot. <laughs> just dropped all my chia seeds. Okay, chia seeds are back in the bag. I'll put that over there. I'm gonna also add, add some cacao nibs. You can add chocolate chips. You can add nuts, which I'm going to do at the end. I just had these cacao nibs that came in a package that I had ordered. So I'm going to put these in here. Now I'm going to put the lid back on, shake it up one more time. And that's it. I said it's the fastest and easiest and healthiest thing because right here, it didn't take me any time to make this. I didn't have to get out eggs. I didn't have to make avocado toast. I didn't have to do any of that stuff that takes longer. This is going to be a great breakfast. You can make this ahead of time at night. You can make like three of these at a time. They'll last in your refrigerator for about five days. They will set up quicker if it's warmer. So I'm gonna leave this sitting on my countertop because I wanna eat it in about 20 minutes. And this will have absorbed, those chia seeds are just gonna absorb and get um, bigger in there because they're gonna absorb that fluid. And it's gonna make it more like a pudding, a thick consistency. So I want you to see what it looks like right now, and then I'm gonna show you as soon as it is ready. So let me show you what the final product looks like. This is the one I just made. You can see the consistency. It is the one cup of milk. So that's what the consistency looks like coming off the spoon. I also wanted to make one a little thicker. If you wanna make it thicker, 
This was one fourth cup of chia seeds and three fourths cup of milk instead of the one cup. So it's a little thicker, more pudding like. You can see that. So it's whatever consistency that you prefer. So one cup compared to three fourths of a cup. You get to do it how you like it. And then right before I eat it, because I like something crunchy in it, I put some nuts in. The cacao nibs, the chocolate chips will also make it kind of crunchy, but I like some nuts also because that's a good added fat in here and protein. So this is a powerhouse. It's actually a superfood. Chia seeds are considered a superfood. So good for your body. Right there, you guys. I just wanted to show you how can you can make this super healthy breakfast in no time at all. Grab it, take it to work. You got a busy morning at home, grab this out of the refrigerator, eat, and you're going to feel good and you're going to stay full for quite a long time. Okay, you guys, that's all I have for now. I hope you try this. Please, in the comments, share what kind of chia pudding, pudding <laughs> that you have made, if you have ever made it. If not, I really recommend that you try it. It's really, really good. Okay, you guys, until next time, I'm out.